Warning, this creepypasta is a made-up scary story for entertainment only. Don't believe it as a real thing. Viewer discretion is advised. I'm pretty sure you're a 90s kid and you remember how popular and good Nickelodeon was in your day with loads of tunes to watch Saturday morning. It had its flaws ever since it had all these trends that people find old and stuff. But my story is about something evil, so despicable, it made me scared for life. I was watching Nickelodeon on my TV because what else will I be doing besides play outside or, or a video game on one of my gaming consoles like the Xbox or PlayStation 4? I got done watching The Loud House and it was awesome as usual. I was scrolling through the channel guide to see what to watch next since Nickelodeon is airing an episode of a show that I'm not interested in to see. As I was scrolling through the guide, I came across a channel called No. I can I can tell from the guide that this is how you say the channel name in short terms. But what's strange, the channel number was 666. Oh, crap, I said. I have a bad feeling that this could be a channel for the devil himself. I pressed the light on the remote of the channel and... Oh, God. It's more scary than I expected to be. I select from a creepy version of, of the SpongeBob SquarePants end credits... And the song was slowed down along with a creepy version of the United Plankton logo, but Plankton was spelled backwards, and it has dot .avi on it, along with the Deb Squidward picture from Red Mist. Then came something that looked like the Nickelodeon Splat, but it's so different, like I supposed to it to be. The words are spelled backwards, the splat looked more like a blood splat, and the music sounded like it came from a old record player. And then at the bottom it said 666 MTV Networks. This started to be, become so clear to me now. In the, in, in, in the guide, the channel name said no. It's short for how Nickelodeon is spelled backwards, which is Nodolekin. No this TV channel is nothing but a monster. But the question is, who even made this TV channel to begin with anyway? I asked angrily. I went to my laptop to do some research on Nodolekin. I looked it up on Google and I found the results for it. I clicked on one of them that is a news article about the channel. It wrote, No Lekin Creeps Worldwide. TV channel Nickelodeon became its most horrifying channel ever to be seen around TV. Could you say, is this some Halloween phase? We, we can assure you that this isn't, this ain't no Halloween phase. It's all real scary stuff. Be warned. Never show it to your children. Or their childhood can say bye bye. It's weird, weird that the news knew about the channel. But it still doesn't answer my question of who made the channel from the start it was aired on TV. So I went back to the TV to see what else no luck in putting on their channel. It can't be more scary than that, I said. The channel now played the end credits to a creepy episode of Rugrats. And my heart is already beating up what else is gonna show up. The classy Cupo played, but what's different is is that class that Cusbo was spelled backwards, just like Nickelodeon with No Lekin. And the spot said Klasky Obsk. And it's displayed as Klasky Obsy.avi Nightmares. Makes sense since the whole channel was a nightmare!
Now I was expecting the same blood splat logo I saw last time. But something else came on. It was Noel Lincoln's version of the Nickelodeon Laugh logo from 2002. But the difference is that it had a scream that sounded like something from a G Major video on YouTube. It as loud I it it was was loud. I had to cover my ears. But when I uncovered my ears, I noticed red liquid on my hands. My ears literally bleed from hearing that scream. Owie! I yelled in my lungs. So after I cleaned my bloody ears off, I had one way to find out about this channel, and that is to email Nickelodeon themselves about it. So I went to Yahoo Mail and made a email to, Nick to Nickelodeon about Nodalekin. About like a few days later, they finally answered. This this is what their email said in response. Hello Nickelodeon fan from Texas. We are so sorry you you are one of the people who saw Nodalekin. People around asked this same question to us of who made it and where it came from. Well, w what we all know is that this was all done by a guy named George Orbs. He used to be an employee in our studio, and he apparently made a secret creepy version of our TV channel and made it like the creepy stories of lost episodes of our show, oh, or TV as we call it, like a reality. So we fired him and was never to be seen again. Again, sorry for our scene of this TV channel. So it was George Orts that was responsible for it, I said. I was angry because he is the reason there was a creepy version of Nickelodeon. And now more childhood is now going to be ruined thanks to him. I rushed back to the TV and changed it back to regular Nickelodeon and Spongebob started playing. <clears throat> to all the people reading this, beware of what trick George Orts has with Norlekin. It can kiss your Nickelodeon limes goodbye.